Peace, family. Share this to a few groups and get on the road and do this video. So, today's video, Satanism versus Luciferianism. And, uh, just gotta share it to a few groups and then we could get started. <clears throat> this video, I have a little more time. So, you know, when I have a little time, I like to take my time with it. So, uh, a little drive I gotta do. So, we'll be able to get this figured out. So, once again, this video is about Luciferianism versus Satanism. Yeah. It's like, you ever thought about how they're two different things? Like, literally, two different things. This is why they have two different titles. No different than an alien and extraterrestrial. It's the same thing. It's two different things. You would still think they're connected because, you know, we use the words aliens and extraterrestrials. So, interchangeable. Uh, but, it's not. This is why it has its own title. Man, so I think I got blocked. I think I'm blocked. It's alright. Fuck it. You know, I get blocked. Okay, so. Like I said, I have a little bit of drive, so we're going to take our time with this. So, to break down who wants to be in my video. No, you don't. No one wants to be in my video. Could be me. But anyway, while we're uh, in the process of, uh, yeah, decline. No, no offense, I get it. This video is about uh, Luciferianism. Damn, that's a lot of Lucer, Lucifer. So light, C, fur, or fee, which would be iron. So like light, C, iron, Aryan, and then ism. Lord, that's a lot of shit in that. So anyway, you get Luciferianism and then you get Satanism. So this is how we're going to break this down in the most. Uh, oh no, you're, you're good, bro. I think that happens. But I'm, I'm respectful, so if people want to jump on the channel, converse with me, build with me, I am no fucking dictator. <laughs> Everything I say might not even be 100% right. I mean, I've been pretty good, but I'm just saying, like, I'm not one of those people where I know everything. I don't want to hear anything a motherfucker got to say. I would never do that. Fuck you, me. You are me. So if, if I miss something, I need to listen to you, so I got it. Anyway, let me just keep going. So, Lucifer, Luciferianism, okay. Lucifer versus Saturn. This is what I want to, to break down. We are speaking on Lucifer versus Saturn. So in essence, you're speaking on the devil versus Satan. Okay? And this video will be breaking down the devil versus Satan. The devil, which in essence connects to development, and Satan, or the soot, the ash. The byproduct of something. Okay, so this is what we're dealing with. These two polarities. Now, before we even get into this video, can we speak on this most simplistic idea? If I'm saying Luciferianism, if I'm saying Satanism, then where do they come from? Okay? Congratulations, you're Lucifer, the bringer of light. Stay with me, okay? Many programs, many templates, many titles. Stay with me, okay? This is all self. If it's if I'm saying Lucifer versus, versus Satan, I'm talking about you. I'm not talking about anybody else. I never talk about anybody else. I'm never talking about anything or anyone else but self. In every fucking video I'm talking about. So anyway, Lucifer, okay, would have to be the deity that presented the religion called Luciferianism, okay? Every religion comes from a being, and then you then understand something deeper. We'll get there. But every religion comes from a being. Christianity or Christianity comes from Christ, comes from Jesus. So that would be his set, his gang, his organization, his group, Christianity. And they have an agenda. They have a purpose. They have a role to play. Okay? It's no different than Luciferianism. 
okay? Luciferianisms, or Lucif Lucifers, have a job, have a role, and they are following the principles or the guides of Lucifer. Christianities or Christians are following the guides or, or ideas of Christ. Satanism is following the ideas of Satan. Okay. It gets deep because we're going to talk about how Satanism is used in extraterrestrial and in, in alien invasions. Crisis actors. Satanism is crisis actors. But let's stay focused because I can prove this. Let's stay focused. Okay. So Satanism would be a religion that was introduced by Satan. Luciferianism would be a religion or a way of life. Because then I don't think you guys process religion. Religion is the way you guys act. If I'm a Christian, guess what? That is a way of life. Because then you start getting into Judaism, Moors. Starts getting deep. Because I could then break down that too. Judah presented Judaism. So Jews... Comes from Judah, the being you know as Judah. Okay? Same for Satanism comes from Satan. Luciferianism comes from Lucifer. Christianity comes from the Christ of Jesus. But what are they talking about? I'm talking about planets. Macro, cosmo, macro. I mean, damn, I always do that wrong. Micro, cosmo, macro. Okay? So if I'm saying that Satanism connects to Satan... Which connects to Saturn. And I'm telling you that this is a religion based on a planet. This is a religion that's based on the ideologies and principles of a planet. Now, do you understand that the Greek term for planet is a wandering star? Plan ET, or the wandering star, or the star in motion. Okay? So we're talking about stars in motion. We're talking about Stars, you, you're a star, stars in motion. Okay, so Satanism comes from Saturn. It comes from the planet Saturn. Luciferianism has to come from a planet. What planet would they be speaking on? What ideologies or principalities are they encompassing within Luciferianism? Well, this would be the principalities of Vulcans. Or Venetians. So then Lucifer connects to Venus. And it's because it has to do with the principles and the ideologies of Venus, of Venetians, of Vulcans, of mastering one's emotions. One's emotional trek. Emotions have to do with cycles. Emotions have to do with chakras. So emotions or mastering one's own chakras would be like Luciferianism. Mastering one's emotions almost would be like Luciferianism. In essence, not allowing this world that's happening around you to affect you. That would be Luciferianism. It's a deep thing. Satanism is different. So when we, now, now Christianity, that would be what planet? The sun. They praise the sun. They honor the sun. But Christianity ain't nothing but an offshoot of Luciferianism. I don't mean to hurt anyone's feelings. This is the reality of it. It's an offshoot of Luciferianism. The rituals, everything that they do is an offshoot of Luciferianism. How do you, how do you control one's emotions through the body? How do you control one's emotions by digesting a body? Therefore, you can encompass, you can grasp, you can sustain, you can house the emotion, then process it, become aware of it. You can't become aware of an emotion or resolve an emotion if you don't connect to it. So anyway, let's keep it going, because it goes even deeper. You got your Moors, and they're just like, where is Moor? Moor is not a, it's not Morocco. What would Moors be? Black or Moor? What would that be talking about? The Mar, the Mu, land of Mu. What would they be talking about? The Moos, cows, the Moos, talking about Mars, specifically Mars. So Moors, beings who are Moors, or proclaim to be Moors. No offense, but you're just following the principles and ideologies of Mars. So now that we got it set, we got Mars, they they do Mars. We have, uh, you want to know what Jupiter, uh, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, which, uh, which uh, culture connects to the planet Jupiter? Jews, just so you know. So uh, that's why I said they think they're special, they think they're chosen. 
You know, so Jews will connect to uh, Jupiter. Satanism or Juda, Juda, Judaism will connect to Jupiter. Satanism will connect to Saturn. Luciferianism will connect to Venus. Christianity connects to the sun. All right, I think we, we caught those. Okay, all right, now, let's make it a little simpler. You're dealing with two things. Circles, well, three things. Circles, triangles, squares. Okay. So the triangle. The triangle would associate specifically with the planet Venus. It literally takes on a triangle. V, a triangle. Okay? So, when you're dealing with triangles, you're dealing with the Trinity. And you're dealing with the Trinity, past, present, future, mother, father, son, that kind of thing. Uh, and you're either dealing with it in a positive way, so you're basically dealing with it in a trajectory that represents ascension. So, to ascend the mother, the father, and the child, this is called uh, transferring. This kind of has to do with transformation. And then transformation is the other way. You go down transformation. But listen, this is what we're talking about. We're talking about circles, triangles, and squares. And everything is ruling a specific geometry. Okay? Do you under okay, so listen. In many cultures, you see that there is like a connection between Venus and Saturn. But you're not getting it. What is the connection? Well, Saturn is is, is hijacking Lucifer. Or the ideologies of Lucifer. That's why it puts a ring around it. It's a deep thing. So Saturn is, and remember, what comes first? Venus. And we're, all, we're just talking about the movement of stars and the way that stars shine, which comes from suns. Because the sun creates a sound that allows the star to form. Anyway, let's not, let's not go into that geometry or that math, that science. We'll talk about, man, this is kind of deep. I'm trying here. Stay with me. Maybe I'll just go get a coffee. Think about it. Go get a coffee think it's coffee time. So, so you're dealing with three geometries, triangles, circles, and squares. So let me now help you understand it. A square is nothing more than two triangles, okay? And the way that they trap a square is two ways. You can create a square with two triangles. You guys are smart. You know how to create a triangle. I mean, a square with two triangles. But there's another way that you can produce a, a, a square or a cube. So we don't really want to say square. Let's say cube because Saturn represents cubes as well. It is the star of David that creates a cube in the middle of this. So placing one triangle up and another triangle down, I dunk it this way, can actually create another cube. So this is actually another way that they produce multiple cubes or multiple, multiple dimensions by hijacking the light of Lucifer or an emotion, your time on Venus, and uh, sending that here on Earth. You know what? It's a, I'm kind of going on a tangent here. My bad. I don't mean to. <laughs> it's like a lot of thoughts flooding in my head. I'm really trying to be concise with this. I really, really, really am, I promise you. But in essence, you're dealing with the soul of Lucifer and the matrix of Saturn. So you're dealing with the soul of the devil. Remember who the devil was. It was an angel. It was an angel that was in heaven. So you're dealing with the soul or the story of being abandoned, kicked out, being left behind because you was left when you was fallen. So you're kind of dealing with all of those things in the devil. That's why the devil is developing you. He is developing your story, and then your story is hijacked on a timeline, and these timelines is ruled by Saturn. Also, this is why your timelines keep looping or repeating themselves, because you're living the same story over and over and over again in hijacked lines, triangles squares. So, you're dealing with circles, you're dealing with cubes. And then if you now look at the reality of that, that's fucking damn near everything you're dealing with right now. You ready for this? Let's break down the circle and the cube. The cube would be this car, okay? Make sure I am past Duncan. Me and Duncan got a good relationship. So this car would be the cube. But do you understand that the cube cannot be in motion by itself? It needs two different...
different circles. It needs two different well, I won't say two different circles. It needs five different circles. But, uh, okay. So, basically, you got to understand this car would operate in what you would call, like, where the fuck is Dunkin' Donuts? Heart mind. Okay? So, remember, heart gives off a sound. So, what would be the heart of the car? It would be the engine. Okay? Now, what would be uh, the mind of the car? It's kind of like you. So, so, man, I really think I don't fucking see Dunkin'. No. You know what? I blame y'all. I blame y'all. I blame y'all. Because I'm in a whole nother state. Lost as shit. I be lost as hell messing with y'all. Hold on. Wait. I got to be patient. I got to fight. Oh, I found it. Oh. <laughs> We're good. I swear. I don't think they got to drive through. Oh, God. Well, you know what? They're going to have to come on this live. They're going to have to get this live. All lives matter.